Our fourth grade class was asked to ask was asked to research and analyze the positive and negative aspects of the different parts of a California mission. Then in group then in a group of ten students, we built our redesigned mission with our, our unique architectural designs in Minecraft EDU. In the back of the mission, we have the barn and the farm. There are plenty of quarters for all, for everybody in the mission. There are the workers' quarters, the Padres' quarters, and the guest quarters. And the workshops are over here. And there are such, and the workshops include the weaving workshop, the blacksmith, work, blacksmith and carpentry workshop. And the church is in the center of the mission with the cemetery right behind it. And now the rest of my teammates will tell you about each part of the mission. The church was the tallest and most important part of the mission. And the most important part of the mission. This was because it converted Native Americans to Christianity. Every morning a bell rung at 6 a.m. to call for prayer. Usually women sat on one side and men sat on the other. The, the other with no chairs, but we chose to have benches. Windows were placed high up and so no thieves would come and steal treasure. When you come in the church, you will see a chest filled with Bibles. This is to say the prayer. The Padre standing in the front of the church would say these prayers. As you can see, we used an enchanting table because we didn't have a proper stand. The Native Americans would sit on benches and listen to the prayers. In front of the benches, there are small candles called votives. You will see chests filled with treasure because the church held all the treasure in the chest. In the corner is found our baptizing pool filled with holy water and all around the church are the windows. I'm going to show you, and I'm gonna show and tell you about the bells. The bells always told people where to go. The English bell rang at 6 a.m. in the morning to call people to the church. The bells cost $1,000 to begin with. In a couple of months, the price kept on raising. Some bells were gifts from the King of Spain. From the King of Spain. One bell was even given from Russia. Let's go to the bells. Let's go to the bells. This is the ladder and this is the rope to pull it. So it rings. Um we made the we made the we made the bell out of yellow wool instead of gold or wood because we thought it would look better. And the bells were always on the church. Farm was to get resources. And this is the wheat. First row is wheat. The second and third row is potatoes. The third and fourth row is carrots. As you can see, they have like things on the bottom. And wheat wheat is almost for the rest of the rows because wheat was very important to the mission. We put melon for the last row, but it was not fully grown. The Padres' quarters where the Padres would stay. Would stay at the California missions. As you can see, the quarters were very simple. It usually had a bed, a bed, a chest for storing items, a, ta a table for writing, and a bookshelf for storing books. This is the book of the Padres' Quarters. 
The Padres' quarters is where the Padres would stay at the California Mission. It usually had a bed, a table, a cross on the wall, and a chest for storing items that the Padres might need. The unmarried workers' quarters is where the unmarried natives would stay. Usually, boys and girls would be in different buildings, but we decided to put them in the same building. Each room is identical and has a bookshelf, a small chest, a window for light and view, and a bed, and a bed. The workers' quarters is where the natives would stay at the missions. When they were not working or not at church, the, they would be here or outside having a break. That is how the workers' quarters look. Building is the married workers' quarters. Married natives and their families would live in the building together outside the mission. The mission. Um, our quarters includes some beds, a chest, a few furnaces for for cooking, and two small tables for eating. Um, or uh, for eating. The married workers' quarters is where ma where married natives and their children would stay at the missions. The rooms had many beds and some extra space. Thank you for seeing our married workers quarters. Welcome to the guest quarters. The guest quarters is where the visitors would stay overnight. It was located near the convento. As you can see, my partner and I made two stories so that more people could stay at the mission. If you walk over here, there is the first floor of the guest quarters. It has brown stained glass as windows because at a real mission they use leather as windows. In the bedroom, it was very plain so there was a bed and a chest with a Bible in it. There is also a bookshelf and two torches. If you go up these stairs, there is a little sitting area where the visitors could just sit and get a good view of the whole mission. Over here is the other set of rooms and another sitting area. If you go back over here, this building is the sala. The sala was used to entertain guests or give natives orders. The floor in the sala and the guest quarters is stone brick and the walls are made of white stained clay. That was the guest quarters. Thanks for watching. Hello, this is the barn. The barn was used for holding cattle, horses, and other, f and other farm animals, like pigs. It would, probably, it would probably be made out of wood and fences for pens. We use acia wood, as you can see right here, and fences for, for making the pens. And outside, there's a couple more pens. There have been bales for the cattle and horses and things like pigs to have something to eat. And that is the barn. Hello and welcome to the cemetery. The cemetery was a historical The cemetery was historically located to next to the church and outside the mission compound. So it would usually be 
about right where the tannery is. About right there. It was it was used to bury the dead. And the padres were usually buried inside the church. And they would probably be buried about right maybe right here. Next to the stand. The natives were buried outside and there was about ten natives in one grave. So about ten under the stone. There were wood gra there were wood graves and sometimes they were replaced with stone ones. In Minecraft we use mossy cobblestone and wither skulls for the graves, as you can see right here. We we surrounded the cemetery with white stained clay instead of adobe because there's no do adobe in Minecraft. In the back of the cemetery, there was a we made a cross made out of black stained glass. And that is our cemetery! Hi, today I am here to explain what the Mission Kitchen and Winery was like at the California Missions. The Mission Kitchen and Winery... It the Mission Kitchen and Winery was built to cook food for the people at the mission, including Native Americans, Spanish men, and women, the Padres, and for the guests. The Mission Kitchen mainly cooked a plate called atole. During fiesta days, the kitchen would roast cows and pigs. The Mission Kitchen cooked both inside and outside. The food is here. First, I will show you the oven. Um, first, I will show you the oven, which were called hornitos. Uh, they were oven shaped. I mean, they were be like shaped like beehives. Um, this is what the people of the mission would use to cook food. I also built tables for whoever is eating. Next, let's go in here. This is where the mission would store the their wine. Wine. The mission would use barrels to storage wine, but since it is Minecraft, we decide to use chests. Here is the wine. Today I will explain what the California Missions Tannery was like and give a tour of our Missions Tannery. The tannery was where the cow hides were put through a process to become leather and then into other objects like sandals, saddles, clothes, and rope, etc. The people at the mission first had to put the cow hides to dry. Then they would put them in different solutions to make them into leather. They usually had a pen for cows, but because we we can't spawn animals, we didn't make one. Um, the solutions were usually put in buckets and stuff, but there wasn't any different color water, so that we put it in cauldrons. We also made, oh, we have lots of chests with leather, clothes, clothes, we used leather to, uh, leather armor, and saddles. We, the mission, the mission also had leads, ropes, made of leather, but we didn't have enough room for chests. Uh, t laun mission laundry. Today I'll explain what the California Mission laundry was like and give a tour of our laundry. The laundry was where the clothes were cleaned and usually a woman did it. The water came from a reservoir sometimes in the hills. The water there was also used for other purposes such as a water source as a water source. The vineyard from the winery was next to the laundry because of its water.
The woman used paddles to clean the lawn. Paddles. In the blacksmith shop, they made nails, hammers, axes, saws, hinges, locks, keys, horseshoes, stirrups, and more. In the carpentry shop, neophytes, some that were skilled in woodworking, made rafters and other wooden items from oak, pine, and sycamore. Realistically, the buildings would be made of adobe bricks. We used white stained clays and brick floors instead. You can see that the blacksmith shop has many furnaces. These were used to make metals so hot that they were bendable. There's also a table in here so that blacksmiths could rest the items they were working on on the table. Back here is an open window that connects the two shops and allows them to share tools easily. Here's a summary of the blacksmith shop. The blacksmith shop had many furnaces used to heat metal until it was warm enough to bend. The blacksmith shop provided all the metal tools in the mission. Now let's look at the carpentry shop. You can see some craft tables in front of us. These were placed to give the carpenter a place to craft objects. Then there is a table that can be used for the same purpose. Let's look in this chest and see what's inside. The carpentry shop was a room for carving things. They made rafters, boats, and more wooden items. The natives had experience with woodworking. Oak, pine, and redwood and sycamore was used here. The carpenters made tools or silverware at the carpentry shop. This is the weaving workshop. All of the clothes were made here. The wool is cleaned in a little pool, then weaved on a loom. To get the wool, they sheared sheep. In our mission, we put wool on fences to make a loom. We put a small pool to clean the cloth and a table to put all the clothes on. The weaving workshop was used to make to make wool to provide clothing for the workers and Spaniards living in the mission. There were looms to string the wool together and water was used here to clean the wool before putting it to use. The ground is made of stone bricks and the wall is made of white stained clay. This is, this is the soap and candle making workshop. As the name suggests, the soap and candle making workshop made the soap and candles. There were often four large vats, two for soap and two for candles. Candles were the main source of light in the mission. Soap was bad smelling and hard, but definitely needed. In our mission, we have three large vats and a lot of candles. There are some molds for soap and candles and three long tables for the soap and candles. The soap and candle making workshop was a building for workers to make soap and candles. The candles were put in molds and shaped. There were usually four vats for, to make soap and candles, but this workshop only had three vats.